I'm Miranda and I teach young children English through drama and today I wanted to introduce to you some sensory games. Yes, now some really fun sensory games that you can play in class but above all you can play at home with your children which is great. Now the first sensory game that I wanted to introduce to you is the alphabet game, sensory game. And what I have here is my alphabet board. And what I'll do is I'll just take a few letters out of my alphabet board, um, just to show you. So what you're going to do, just take a few letters out, like, like this. Okay, then you're going to just stand your child or your student in front of you. Okay, so their, their back is towards you. And you're simply going to draw a letter on their back, um, on their shoulders. So with your finger, you're just going to draw or write a letter on their back so they can feel what you're writing. And then they're just going to try and guess what letter it is that you're actually writing on their back. So is it A? Yes, great, it's A. They pick it up and they place it in the board if they get it right. If they get it wrong, you repeat the letter, drawing it on their back again until they get it right. So then you can go all through the alphabet or just a few letters until you don't want to go through all of the alphabet, otherwise they might get a bit bored, but a few letters. So B, is it B? Yes, no, it isn't. Do it again. You draw it on their back, the letter B, and you carry on until they've completed their row or their part of the board, which is one. Now, if you don't have this alphabet board, it's not a problem. What you can do is just print some letters from the alphabet and use those. So when you're drawing on their back, then they pick up a, a letter and they say, is it B? Yes, it is. Great. With all the children, you don't even need any letters. They can just feel what you're drawing on their back and say, is it Z? Yes. Great, and that's it. Really quick, 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 quick and useful um, alphabet game there to introduce to your, your students or your children at home. Now, the second game that I wanted to introduce to you is also a fun game to play at home or in the classroom. And what you'll need for this game here is a blindfold and some food. Now, <laughs> I've just brought today what I had in the fridge. So I had a pineapple, uh, I have an apple, and I've got some tomatoes. <laughs> so you know what I've got for dinner tonight then? Not a lot. <laughs> okay, so I've got my, my, my fruit and my, my tomatoes there, all my, my fruits. Now I have my blindfold. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the blindfold on your child, on your student or your child, before they actually see any of the fruit or the, the, the food that you're going to introduce to them. So they don't know what they're going to be feeling and tasting because this is also a tasting game. First of all, you're going to put the blindfold on your child like this and then you're in their hands, you're going to pass them some fruit. So they're going to guess, they're going to touch and feel what it is and they're going to guess what fruit it is. Is it an apple? Yes! Then they're going, you're going to pass them something else or just part of it and they just feel with their fingertips what it is. Maybe not just the weight but just with their fingertips see what, what it is. Is it a pineapple? Yes! No! Yes! And then with the tomatoes for example. Another game that you can play with food is getting them to smell the food. So still with their blindfold on, you can cut up some fruit or some vegetables and actually just make them smell what it is. And they have to guess what fruit or what food it is just by smelling. The last game that you can play, sensory game that you can do, is make your fruit salad. <laughs> so cut up your fruit, your vegetables, whatever you've got in the fridge, doesn't matter. A bit of bacon, a bit of cheese, anything goes, that's great. And then you're going to get your child to, to taste. So you don't want anything really horrible <laughs> for them to taste, unless I'll never play it again. So it has to be something nice that they, they'll enjoy. Don't put like a pickle in their mouth or something really horrible like that. <laughs> um, so they're going to taste what the, what the fruit, what the, what the food is, and they're going to guess what it is by actually tasting it. So that's it. Really three very, very simple games, but sensory games that you can play in your class. Maybe not tasting, but you can definitely do the smelling part with, with your students in class, but especially at home. Alphabet, guess, 
drawing on the back, smelling, touching and tasting games. Sensory games that will get your children hopefully motivated into learning and practicing their English with you. Okay, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please subscribe to my channel on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. It would be great to hear from you. Thanks a lot. Until next time, be theatrical. <laughs>